Hey everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin. How are you doing this Sunday afternoon? This is take two. Waiting to see if I'm actually here or not. You know, when you have your description all written out and you've gotten everything together and then you're not live and you got to do it all over again. Oh, maybe I'm here this time. Am I really here? I think so. There's Judy. So I know I'm here. Hey, Judy and Libby. I'm sorry I had to bump it up to 4.30, y'all. The uh, 2 o'clock class went a little long, but we sure had a fun time. Did we, Judy? I hope we did. <laughs> hey, Pam and Marsha and Carol. I've got my computer over here today. I had, I had to set up a little bit differently for my class. So maybe I can actually read some of the comments there. I don't know. I've got my contacts in. Hi, Nicole. Um, we're gonna, I had a whimsical class today with our little tater birds and, um, hey Patricia and Carol, y'all come on in. Come on in. Yay. Good, Martina. Uh, I just thought I'd stick with the whimsy today. I saw that I got some inspiration, of course, from Pinterest and, um, I thought it would be fun to try this out with y'all today. Hey, Barbara and Char and Diane, good afternoon. Hope y'all are having a great day. Um, and I hope this is fun. I, I needed to do a little prep work so it wouldn't, you know, take so long and it wouldn't be keeping y'all too, too long, especially going later, coming on later at 4.30 instead of 4. Hey, Betty and Geneva and Phyllis. Great. Hey, Sherry. So I did a little prep work. I don't know how much y'all can see here. And we're just going to do some fun Mod Podging and gluing. And I'm, I bet you, I know for a fact, Betty, I will have to get up from this table because I'm sure there's just no way I remembered everything I'm going to need for this. But that's okay. Hey, Ellen and Deb. Uh, so here's what I've got. A two by four. And this literally, it, I mean, it was just wood we had. Let me measure it. This is literally uh, two inches wide. Just, just a little over seven inches long. Just a smidge over seven inches long. And about one and a quarter deep. Just a piece of reclaimed wood. Howdy, April and Deb. Oh, y'all, I'm so glad you're here. That's great. Hey, Rita. Yeah, share those, toss those taters and uh, sprinkle away. If you if there's somebody that you know that um, you think might enjoy this, please do. Oh, Betty, I am so sorry. I've heard that gallbladder cleanse is not an easy thing. Um, we will, yeah, we'll be praying for you for sure, Betty. I'm so sorry. Hey, Cynthia and Stephanie. I'm just shaking up my new Waverly Maze chalk paint. Y'all made me go to Walmart after I got off Friday because I needed fabric glue, which my pants are coming along. <gasps> I got, you know, yesterday all I did was, um, all I did was work on the, the things that I have around here that need to get done. Southern Vintage has a tent sale this coming weekend. That's a big, big sales day. And I've got to get my booth filled up. Hey, Danette from Double Time Growing with Danette. And there's Tanya. Tanya, you're knocking it out of the park with those paintings, the rocks and the eyeglass cases. They're just amazing. Um, but while we chit chat, I'm gonna, I do too. So when I went to Walmart and I saw they had the maize uh, chalk paint and I didn't have that color. And now I'm so glad I picked it up. Uh, because it's making the perfect middle for our butterfly. We're going to make a butterfly today. And like I said, we're going whimsical. Uh, Judy, all I have left on one pair to do, and, and the fabric glue is working great, y'all. I got, I think I've already put it over on the shelf, but um, I just got regular fabric glue and 
it's working really, really well. It makes it so much easier. So all I've got to do now is um, use the embroidery floss and decide which stitch I want to do around them to accent it. And that first pair is going to be done. I worked on um, distressing them a little bit more yesterday and adding a few more holes and adding a little more fabric. I've just got to work on the pair that uh, has the puppy paw prints. And if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch Friday's Live where we disturbed some denim. <laughs> hey, Janet. Oh, Lori's here. Hey. It's going to look like a stick of butter, isn't it? Oh. Oh, Betty, that's horrible. Oh, my word. It's... Mm, you gotta wonder, is it worth it? That's terrible. Fly, fly away. We're we're not just doing a butterfly. I'm I'm ambitious today, and I'm um, gonna see if I did enough prep work where we can actually make a bee too. I've got a little bee idea that's just along these same lines, and I think it'll be so much fun. And you know what? I was just, I hadn't thought about it till just this minute, but these would make a fun little kit if y'all like them. All right, now I'm just going to set that aside and let that be drying a little bit. We might hit it with the heat gun in a second to do the back because you know we got to do the back too. Ah, uh, Lori, I'm not going to because I have only been on for eight minutes. I didn't start at four today, I had to bump it to 4 30. So. Hey, Debbie, I've got, so far we're up to 95 of my best friends in here. I'm so excited. So now we have cut up uh, five gallon paint stir sticks. <laughs> It'd be fired. I don't fire anybody. Are you kidding? Unless they get argumentative and tell me I talk too much on here, then I might fire you. <laughs> Okay, what I did ahead of time, I prepped, and I got out my, let me show you this great book that I got a while back at Walmart for, it was only $5, this whole book of pretty um, springy scrapbook paper, 12 by 12, thank you, Lori, I got this, I ordered this from Love and Faith, and I just love it, it's a comfortable t-shirt, um, but we're going to cover these stir sticks, uh, we're going to cover these stir sticks with this scrapbook paper. So let me get going here because I have a vision. I have a vision. Hey, Cecile, I didn't see you come in. Oh, Judy, I know. That's okay. Well, I, you know, just whenever you can be here makes me happy. Makes me happy. Plus, you know, last week was a lot, y'all. I had a lot of can ideas I wanted to bring to you, and because the week before I had to miss a couple of lives, I just wanted to make it up to y'all, but now we're back on our regular schedule this week, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, barring any unforeseen circumstances, I will be here, because I love hanging out with y'all. All right, that, you know, just simple 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 covering some paint stir sticks doesn't it I didn't mean to do that Tanya but I did realize oh my goodness um, hey Pat whose husband is in the hospital how I missed that I was looking away oh Martina does it can anybody answer Martina's question Look at these pretty, can y'all see these pretty scrapbook uh, colors? Thank you, Norma. I really like this shirt. I got it from Love and Faith, if you didn't hear me say that earlier. And uh, I love the colors in it, and of course the scripture. Yes, Rita, you know what? It was a wonderful surprise for me uh, that they decided to come on home late last night because it was supposed to storm there this morning and they just thought, you know, it's not worth that. We're not gonna be out in the boat anyway. So those sweet guys decided to come on home and um, he has already cleaned the fish. He cleaned the fish while I was doing my, teaching my class earlier. 
And so he's gonna grill bass tonight, and we're gonna have bass and sweet potatoes. And I love sweet potatoes. And I will admit, I've been eating junk while he's gone this weekend. And I'm ready for some, I think I need some nutrients. I'm not feeling my very best today. He said he could even see it in my eyes. So <laughs> that's when I know it's bad. Okay, y'all are helping Martina. Hey, Marie, how are you doing? Oh, I think these cute little uh, scrapbook colors. Can y'all see what I'm doing even? Let me, let me see. Facebook didn't let me on the first go around. And I can only pull back so far because there's a window there. So I try to get it where you can see it. I hope you can see it pretty good. Yes, he takes very good care of me. Ah, oh, Michelle. Oh, yum. I know. I'm hungry just thinking about it. All right. And this last set of wings. These are going to be the wings. And I will tell you all right now, you're complimenting me on my shirt and everything. But I've got a pair of leggings and I'm barefooted. So don't, you know... I'm comfortable today. So when I get up and walk in that direction to get something, because I know I will, <laughs> forgive me, <laughs> because that's what you get this afternoon. <laughs> oh, that's another pretty. They were just talking about how good you take care of me. Yeah. Cooking me bass and sweet potatoes, and look, y'all. But look what I surprised him with. Show him your shirt. Okay, can they see it? Yeah. Life is better with Sarge. You have to, um, oh. there's, a, there's a fat part right here, <laughs> kind of a bulging part right here. Yeah, weekend wear. Mm, that's the good, oh, that's so good, y'all. Hey, everybody. They had, they had already asked me if the fisherman had made it home yet. I told him you surprised us and came on home last night, and I was so happy. Fish are clean. They're going to be, some of them going to be grilled tonight. Yes. Ooh, hey, Julie Bowman. That's sis. Yes, that's my that's Moidle. Moidle's here. Moidle's here. When he said that, I thought there's another Julie Bowman. No, that's your she sister. She said she wanted to come over and have some fish. <laughs> she hates fish. <laughs> <laughs> she does not eat fish. <laughs> ah. Okay. Um, Moidel, did you find treasures today? I wanted to go so bad. Hey, Kathy. Brenda, isn't it so good? It is, uh, not fishy at all, and I love it. Mmm. All right, so, you know what I'm gonna do? That's not, <laughs> that's not quite dry yet. <laughs> oh, okay, you're gonna have to text me after this and tell me what you found. So while we're letting all that do its thing, let me show you. Let's, let's switch over to the B. This is what I prepped. I put four Jenga blocks going up and down and four on the back. I used um, Gorilla Glue and Hot Glue, didn't let them touch, to put it all together. Now what we're gonna do is I have cut out this little, okay, here's the, here's the sheet that I use, these pretty yellow polka dots. Um, who's new? Wait a minute. I've got to, I've got to welcome you. No, 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 where'd you go? Where'd you go? I don't know, but I, welcome. I missed you. I'll have to go back through the comments. Hey, Melanie. Thank you for saying that, Danette. There's Rula. She came back, y'all. Yay. She's new. Just just was here Friday, my new friend. Um, You know what? It, don't you love rainbow sherbet? That was always my favorite. Marsha. Oh, okay, Marsha. I'm so happy you're here. I hope you enjoy what we do here and you might stick around and follow us. Can I say that? I can, I think I can. I'm going to say it anyway. 
I need an older brush for these little lines. Let's do this one. I can wash it out. She finds treasures all over the place, Tanya. She goes to, she can find them in thrift stores, estate sales. She finds the best treasures. And so every weekend, I always love to hear what she has found. And sometimes when I need something in particular, all I have to do is put my sister on it. And boy, she comes through. She can always find the best. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold this up and show you what I'm doing here. I just cut out the little strips of, of uh, scrapbook paper just a little bit smaller than the Jenga block. I, would, I, I want everybody to stay, Jill. Thank you for saying that. Like I've said a million times, y'all, I know I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but... Um, that's okay, but the ones who like it here, I, I hope you will stick around. That's not true, Moidle. You know it's not true. Um, I, I, put, I think I put you on that, didn't I? Did I tell you about Elizabeth's, uh, the big jug she wants? Welcome, Erin. We, Erin's new, too. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. I love it when we get new uh, people watching. We always, I think, I should speak for myself. I always have so much fun going live and spending time with y'all. It, uh, it really always makes me feel better. And we had fun in our class today, painting our fun little birds. Can y'all, yeah, you can see the birds behind me that we painted this month. You can still get in on that class if you want to, y'all. It's always available. It'll be available as long as Facebook will leave it there. I'm going to put that on that side. So, there's our little bee body. And I'm going to let that dry just a little bit, and we're going to distress it. Hey, Marjorie. Oh, really, Betty? Oh, that's so great. Hey, Rebecca. Oh, hey, Mayor. By the bay. I'm... I'm Gonna confess, I'm a little jealous. Mm. Oh, Lori, that's a lot. Thank you, and I love you right back just that same way. I have, I got these, this um, bag of ball knobs in the woodpile section at Hobby Lobby. We've got two little holes drilled in it, and you know, it's flat on the bottom, so I went ahead and painted this. We're gonna make this our little bee head. <laughs> All right. We're just going to use, I think I'm just going to use hot glue right here. On his little head. Make sure I get his antenna holes going the right way. Oh, I can, I'm so excited to see how these turn out. Do you, Rula? That is so cool. <clears throat> Mayor, I did. I enjoyed yesterday. You know, I just stayed in my PJs. Look at that. Stayed in my PJs. And, um, boy, I was rusting everything inside. Did you see that star? Oh, my goodness. I love that rust kit so much. Now, it takes a little while. I mean, if, you know, if you start on it early enough in the day, you'll get it finished in a day. But the effect is so perfect. I have rusted three tin cans, three, well, I'm in the process of the other two stars. And one of my, I had to try one of my little um, soda can envelope planner things. It turned out great. I am so happy with it. And so I have big plans to finish those up. I worked on my jeans. What else did I do yesterday? Did I? I don't know that I got any one thing finished, but um, I sure had fun, and it's all coming right along. So I should have some fun things to show you by Tuesday that are finished. But that that if you can find those uh, Dollar Tree um, aluminum stars that I showed you, you know they're 3D. 
they're not just the flat aluminum. I had never seen them before until that uh, Dollar Tree I went to, I think it was Friday. And um, I, immediately when I saw them, I thought that's what I wanna try to rust. Good afternoon, Patty. Paint, spray, sealer, and cinnamon. I, that, I wanna try that too, Stephanie. I've got that on my list. Oh, wow, Michelle, so you had PJ Day too. Uh, Carol, I'll tell you, I took it out to the shop and asked Mr. Taterbuggin to drill them for me. <laughs> That's how I got the holes in the top, just to drill. Make sure. Elizabeth, it is still, it, it wasn't good the last time I went either, and that was uh, probably maybe just a little over a week ago. I, I'd have to look back, but... Um, there's one in Bartlett that I don't hit very often because it's not usually that good. It's at Bartlett, at Stage Road and Bartlett Boulevard. And they, it had that store looking so good. It's a big store. It's not as big as Germantown. It's a big store. And um, they had it, they had some stuff in there that, that I had never seen before. And I ended up... Did I need to spend any more money at a Dollar Tree? No, I did not. But I got y'all some fun stuff to bring to you and show you, and um, we'll have a, a good time with it. No new stuff. That's a disappointing. Hey, Barbara. Yeah, those husbands come in handy, Beth, when they bring you Starbucks, too. That's really, really great. You know what, uh, Judy? I have PJ Day almost every day that I don't go live. <laughs> so I'll just tell off on myself right now. Oh, thank you, Treva. I appreciate that. I didn't even know we had gotten over 150. Uh, I'm so glad, this is just wonderful. Okay, I just put the, you know, I'm just covering the back of our butterfly body. Okay, now what I wanna do is go back to our um, paint star sticks that I put this on and just grab my, uh, grab my uh, sanding block, can't think, and hit the edges. I just wanna distress these edges. And y'all, I got this, this sanding block at Dollar Tree too, so. We're gonna just distress these all up. And then we're gonna um, add some Waverly Antique Wax. I know, Frida. I, you know, I've got, gosh, probably six Dollar Trees right around me. None of them very, very good, but it's like my car can't seem to pass them for curiosity. I just want to go in there and see if they've got anything new. Okay, so I've just hit it on those edges there with the sanding block. And then can't wait to get home and put them back on. It's, me too, Debbie, me too. That's how I feel. I had never been to the Millington store, Gail. Is it good? Yeah, you do, Tanya. You kind of have to hit them regularly or you'll miss it. Like, I caught the one on Winton Road this past week and a really good, you know, they had some good new stuff, especially floral. And so, um, I told the little lady when I was checking out, she's so sweet, she's kind of new, but she's so wonderful. She's the most pleasant lady. I told her she was just a ray of sunshine. Um, but anyway, they had some really nice uh, floral. And I told her, I said, um, I may have to hurry back in here, you know, to get some more of that. And she said, yeah, it goes fast, doesn't it? I said, don't I know it. You gotta be there at the you know right time, at the right Dollar Tree at the right time to get the good stuff. I think, uh, a lot of people have caught on to the whole Dollar Tree DIY thing through YouTube and Facebook. And so there's a lot of us going looking for those fun crafting items. What 
what else did I find? I found Oh, I put it in my stories. That's what it was. Do y'all ever watch my stories? I love to watch stories on Instagram, and I forget to watch them on Facebook. Uh, but I put all the new stuff that I found on in my stories. But I think that's already, you know, it only stays up there 24 hours, and then it's gone. I know, Frida, your card just pulls that direction. Yeah. Um, yeah, we got used to staying in our jammies. Good evening, Kay. How are you doing? Uh, Gail, let us know how it is, okay? Somebody I, know, somebody I know, who was it that said they went to the Millington Dollar Tree? Was that you, Tanya? Did you say you did? Yeah, it's become a, I think it's the thrill of the hunt, you know, to see what you can find, or if there's some new stuff, can you... You know what can you do with it um because i did find a couple of new pieces i had never seen before and i just went on and got them because i want to try to do something with them they're so cute they do just jump right in that cart and before you know it there goes your money oh it wasn't you so who was it oh i think it was sandy i believe she said that she went to the was it Sunday? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, thank you, Martina. I'm so glad. I I really do obsess over coming up with fun things to bring y'all. It's become the most fun thing in my job now is to come up with fun ideas for y'all. And uh, so I'm constantly looking for inspiration and racking my brain on what I can do next. And I promise I'll try to stay away from the cans for a while because I was a little can crazy last week. I'm still going to make some more uh, to put in my booth, but I'll try, try to not do them all on my laps. <laughs> I do too, Michelle. Wouldn't that be great? But you know what you can what you can do with somebody local. Elizabeth and Lee and I have done it before. You know, we'll share a case of something that all three of us want, and so we'll all go in together on a case. So if you've got friends who like to craft or who like Dollar Tree items, that's a, that's another option. Okay, so I've got all of these sanded down. Let me just move that out of the way here. You know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to do this. There now. I also want to distress the front of our little bee here. I don't want him to have he, him to look so perfect. He's going to have the same look. They're going to be from the same insect family. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You have a friend who uses them to sell her flowers. Oh, Tanya, everybody needs one. Um, I get. I got mine on Amazon. It was so funny. I found mine. They're playing back here on the floor. Um, and I was crafting along, and I, one day I thought this was kind of before I got in like the Simple Treasures Crafter Circle. So wookie. <laughs> anyway, um, I ordered it, and Gerald looked at me like I was crazy. I said, "No, it's really great because you know I'm here when I'm here working because I work with wood a lot, so it'll leave a mess, and I don't. And then I'm painting, and I don't want my paint to get in it. So I just went on Amazon, and I looked up." Um, desk I think it was a desk vacuum because I thought that was so easy you know in my head I thought there's got to be something I want to get out the vacuum cleaner put an attachment on it do all that you know 
I just wanted something little. And a million popped up. And then when I got in um, with the crafting groups, it they already had them. It was a big thing. You know, Lee had had hers apparently for a while and she's got a link to that I think at the top of her page it's a little bit different one but they do the same thing and I, I can't live without it now glitter vacuums the, yeah he does sound like a wookie <laughs> that's him talking silly dog what do I want to do next I know what I want to do next I want to get my wax out and a baby white and distress these little wings and we're just gonna assemble our bugs then Libby I got mine on Amazon um, and after we're after this uh, after this live I'll go on there and I will um, I'll, I'll give you a link I'll post a link to the little vacuum yeah those little animal vacuums are so cute Oh no, really? Who said that? Aaron? That's hilarious. Oh, he's jealous. He's just jealous. Sweet things. I just love them so much. Okay, so all I'm going to do here is just um, hit the edges with this antique wax. Because I don't, you know, I don't want it looking perfect. I want it to look distressed. Gives it more character, doesn't it? Yeah, I, yeah, I had, I had said that. Yeah, about, about the Dollar Tree um, wood block. I mean, sanding block. Yeah, just go over in that man. I call it the man section, <laughs> where we shop all the time now. Um, and they have these sanding blocks. But you know what I want that I don't have yet is one of those finger sanders. Do they ever have those at Dollar Tree? Because there are times I'll go to Dollar Tree and uh, I don't even go down that aisle. And I should. You know, I'm in a hurry or something and I'm, I just go down the aisles that where I know are my stuff. Okay, y'all, I really like how that looks. Can you see how it looks now as opposed to as opposed to this one? Just I don't know, I just like the look of that better. Harbor Freight. Gerald's always at Harbor Freight. I need to get him to pick me up a little finger sander. Of course, I use an emery board a lot of the time, which is, you know, probably the same thing. Lori, you've got to get my notifications. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, this looks kind of 70s now, doesn't it? I think with the other two, um, which is not a bad thing, but with the other two um, on it, it, I think it's just going to look so cute and um, perfect for, for little butterfly wings. Oh, that didn't get sanded good enough. See, I can't see as well close up with these contacts in. The, the sweet spot's right about there. <laughs> so, they're not perfect. Oh, they do, Rhonda? Wish I'd have known that Friday when I was there. I went right after we finished um, the live where I was disturbing my denim and was really mainly going for that uh, fabric glue. But of course I ended up getting some other stuff too. I have some other little um, crafty things I just wanna do this week that, uh, for instance, they're gonna, they're gonna go in my booth. They're not for lives because um, like one of them was the cute, did y'all see? the little flower that Amanda May did. And then Lee did it the next night uh, in a patriotic theme with her spin on it. Um, I really would like to make a couple of those to put in my booth if for no other reason than to, if they just are happy and it'll just look so cute in there. So I got a um, 
when I went to get my fat quarters for my jeans at uh, Hobby Lobby the other day, I went on and got one of those bundles of fat quarters that's all coordinated and they, they're all different little bee patterns. And so I'm gonna do my flower in a little, you know, little bee fabric. Hopefully, hopefully I'm gonna get around to that. You think I had a list out that I had made long as my arm for yesterday and I just I couldn't get to it all you, you think you can just whip them on out but you can't you know it takes time oh really Lori uh, yeah, you're gonna love it I love the fit the fits good and it's soft oh did you Rita yeah those um, the, did you you saw the flowers didn't you Lori uh, that Amanda May did, I bet you did, and that uh, Lee did. Felted bees. Oh my goodness, that's got to be cute. Uh, Sandy, I'm still working on them, but I'm loving how they're turning out. I'm, and again, y'all, if you were there Friday and you were giving those good, uh, that good advice, y'all brought some great ideas for me and uh, like the embroidery floss and using the fabric glue. I'm gonna love both pair of those jeans. I love how that one turned out. Um, they're just so, they're gonna be fun. They're gonna be so fun and different. And y'all have been so good to let me know that you have seen a whole bunch of ads from different boutiques that are selling those jeans that I like that that were my inspiration and they are um they're over forty dollars they're very cute but I don't know any of those places and uh, I thought well I could do that myself so anyway we're all gonna disturb our disturb our denim right got a little heavy-handed on that side oh what'd you get paint on Missy. Pat, I am making a bee and a butterfly today. Little whimsical, fun wood um, cuties. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't made the rag balls either. Hey, Dolly. I'm glad you made it. Got a little bit crazy on one end, but I don't care. It's all right. Okay. Now, let's see if we can start assembling our butterfly. And then we can finish out our little bee, too. All right, now. First off, I want to distress this. I want to distress the body up just a little bit. And I think I'm going to hit it with, I think I'll hit it with some wax, too, so it won't look so stark against these um, these wings. Oh, good, Kathy. I, I can't wait to see it finished up either. I think it's gonna be really cute. I'm gonna put a little face on it. Which do I want to be the front? It's just, like I said, it's just an old two by four. So it's not perfect. You know, it's got dents and dings in both sides, but I don't care. Y'all think I should hit it with a little of the antique wax, too, so it'll kind of match? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to do it. Just like the edges and such. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks good with that maize chalk paint. Oh, y'all, look at this. Let me show you. Let me get this side. I like that. How about that? That light makes it look a little funny, but trust me, in person, that's really cute. <laughs> and I'm just going to hit the sides a little bit. You like the colors? Oh, good. I lost it. Oh, Dolly, thank you for the stars. You're so sweet. Oh, well, I hope replay will play 
play good. Thank you for the stars. That was very sweet of you. Maybe I'll see you Tuesday. They'll have it all fixed by then. Y'all, I've been having some crazy Facebook issues, too. I, I don't know what it is. I never can go live the first time I try, except in my class. In groups, it doesn't do that. But for our pages, it happens every time. I'm so glad I picked it up, Lori. I did. That's one color I didn't have, and I love it. So now that's going to kind of match our distress on our wings better. So that's good. All right, this is going to be my first wing. And I want to look at my inspiration picture. I always have to have an inspiration picture. I just want to, we're going to move this up just a smidge. And I'm going to get my white chalk pencil and just make a mark right here so I know where to put it down. And I'm going to hit it with some Gorilla Glue and hot glue. But not in the same spot. Let me hold that down there just a second. So we're going to have this wing go straight across in the back like that. Then we're going to have these coming up at an angle. <laughs> Backwards. These coming up at an angle. I think if, I think if I could get a thinner piece, which I could. I could have Mr. Taterbug and cut this one in half. And if I do this, what is it? It's a dragonfly. How cute is that? I think that would be cute, cute, just like that. This one's gonna be a butterfly, so. Now, let me get back to where I can see y'all. Yeah, Kay, it's, it's so frustrating. Judy, thank you for the stars. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, hey, Donna. Well, we're, we're just about to finish this up. Um, yeah, it's the truth, Kay. We are all having that issue. And the thing is, um, you type out a description so that when you're scrolling through and you see I'm live, and it says something, you know, and you're like, I'm not interested in doing that. Uh, but then, you've done all that, you know, typed it all out. You might have put a link in the description. And then you've got to do it all over again before you can sign back on. And usually, you know, you, we've got the camera set up, and it, you're trying to punch everything. And it's frustrating. I'll just say that. It's just frustrating. Just making myself a little mark so I know where to put that. What did you say? Your granddaughters would love this, Kathy? Yeah. This would be so cute in a little girl's room. This would be cute. I think you could... I don't see any reason why you couldn't spray seal it um, and have it outside and let it just weather naturally. I think that would be cute. Have it on your patio or, you know, by your pool. I just want to hold this. One. There's my big sis, Gail. How are you doing? All right. Now, placement of this one is going to go right there. Going to make that mark. Little Gorilla Glue for long term and 
hot glue for quick takes. Okay. Um, oh, I'm glad, Gail. Lori, it, you know, I wish I could remember, but I watch um, Polly from Hot Humble Pie on YouTube, and she explained it perfectly one time. Here's where we are so far. Isn't it cute? <laughs> um, she really did explain it so well. Um, and there's a reason for it. And one of y'all may be able to say it. But they don't... On some surfaces, they will cancel each other out. So you won't get a, a you know, a, a, a stick at all. Is that how I want it? Yeah, I think it is. I'm just going to put that together like, like glue. I mean, like a puzzle. Like glue. Oh, on a fence. Kay, that's a great idea. Do this again right here. That is a real good idea. In fact, I may even steal that idea, and that may be where I put mine. I, Lori, I have heard other people say that um, certain surfaces, it doesn't matter if they touch. But I can't remember which one. So I just always err on the side of uh, caution and... Don't let them touch. Laurie, you know what? You're right. And that's a smart thing to do. And I'll forget. I forget to do it. And then I, I, I need to just get it set in my mind that that's what I need to do every time. Let me, I've got to eyeball this to see right where to put it. That's going to work. That's going to work. This is why I thought it was best for me to, to do as much prep work as I could before this so y'all didn't have to sit through too much of um, any of the cutting or the gluing, like gluing the, the bee body together. <laughs> These make me happy. Oh my goodness. Now let's put a fun little face on it. I'm gonna get some black paint out. Butterfly, yeah, all, all what about a ladybug? Somebody do figure out how to do a ladybug. That would be cute. A ladybug, a dragonfly. Oh my goodness, all kinds of things. Yeah. Do you like it, Elizabeth? I think it's so cute. All right, we're going to do a funny little face. This is just the end of a, a sketch pencil that I'm just going to barely dip into black paint. And I'm going to make just a cute little face. There's one eye. There's two eyes. And then we're going to take a little... I need a pink. A pink. I'm going to get a pink. And they're trying to tell, look, look at this little bunchkin. He's trying to tell me it's supper time, and it's not supper time yet. It is, well, it might be, I don't know. But you're going to have to go talk to your daddy about that. You're going to have to talk to your daddy about it. Oh, and while I'm up, I'm going to get this. And I'm going to get a pair of gloves. Maybe that'll just be the only time I have to get up. Let's see. All right, let me do my pink for his cheeks, her cheeks, who's ever cheeks. 
and then I'm going to show it to you. I want to look at my inspiration piece because I just thought it was so cute the way they did it. It's adorable. It's adorable. And then we're going to take this little bitty brush and some black. I make it smile and you know I can't uh, just leave the eyes like this I'm gonna have to put my little white dots in them but would you just look at that ah! so now let's let's go ahead and let's do our little B while this one gets dry so I can add my little white dots in the eyes and all he needs is it is it Antenna. Would y'all go in another room? Y'all are rambunctious. Rambunctious. Okay. All right. Now, let me do the little B. Little B eyes. Where did I put my pencil? Here. Okay. Sassy dog. <laughs> I'm glad y'all like it. It's making me really happy. I need a littler. I'm going to do um, my, 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 the end of a skewer stick for the little bee's eyes. Straight down into the paint where you get a little blop. And let me see if I can do this on this round. Boop. All right. And... Okay, and his, we're going to give him some little bitty, little bitty pink um, cheeks. I don't know what I'm doing here, but we're going to just test it out. Oh, Y'all, I don't think I can stand it. I don't think I can take it kidding me now so his mouth needs to be it's gonna be yellow so let me move this back out of the way and get my little bitty mouth brush and we'll go in this is the palette I had for our birds today so I'm just gonna pull some of that yellow Just like this and I'll put black dots for his eyes <laughs> I can't take it I just can't stand it okay boop <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh who said eyelashes <gasps> oh I'm gonna do it whoever said eyelashes I'm telling you that's brilliant okay let me get it so, hmm, I'm going to make the little bee's eyelashes in this, um, it's just an ivory, but it really looks like buttery. It's got a hint of yellow in it, so we'll do some yellow eyelashes on the bee, and we'll do some black eyelashes on the butterfly. Oh, these are going to be the cutest little bugs you ever saw in your life. Little eyelashes. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Let me do the butterflies. And then we're going to get that wire out and... Give them their last little, their antennas and their wings. Oh, the eyelashes were just true. Connie and Trudy said it. Thank you, Connie and Trudy. I had not thought about eyelashes, believe it or not. And this is brilliant. I love y'all's ideas. Oh, that just did it. That just did it. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, so their little eyes are gonna dry while I work with this wire and um, make sure I've got something to cut it. All right, and then we're gonna be done. Hi, Diane, we have been having the best time today. This has been so much fun creating these little bugs. Oh, let's see the hearts, thank you. Eyebrows too in brown. I can do that, I can do it. 163, y'all one day I'm on, I'm gonna get 200. I'm gonna get 200 people here. I don't know why. It's quality uh, over quantity. And I keep reminding myself, you know, you just set these little goals though. And you think that would be fun? I don't know. If it gets too big, I, I can't, you know, respond to everybody. So maybe I should just not, not even think about that. Thank you so much for the stars, Barbara. That's so sweet of you. So I'm just gonna go about, about here. I'm not gonna measure anything, but I am gonna get these two about the same length. About the same length right here. <laughs> Bo, my, my feet are dangling down in his bed. He and Pete have a bed under the table and just felt a little puppy kisses on my toes. So sweet. I'm going to take my needle nose pliers. He's probably just t trying to tell me he wants some supper. It is 530 now. But they'll have to take that up with Daddy. I've been on an hour. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're about done. We're about done. Um, this wire was so... I got it from Mr. Taterbuck. <laughs> he had it, but I think he got it at Lowe's. You can get it at Lowe's. And this is that, you know, you got to wear... Um, it's got that coating on it so it doesn't rust, but this is 16 gauge wire. So it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty heavy. All right, let's see how that's going to look. Oh, y'all. Y'all look. I think I should, oh, we're at 182. What is going on? Oh, I'm so happy. That's fantastic. I want to pull this one out just a little bit. And, all right. I'm just going to shoot a little hot glue down into this hole that we pre-drilled. If it'll come out. There we go. And then stick this wire right down in there. I think I'll bring it up just a smidge. Isn't that cute? Can you see it? Oh my goodness. Okay. Hey, Karen. Oh, here I am, Patricia. I'm so glad you came in for a rest because we're making some really cute bugs. We got a butterfly and a bee, and we figured out how to do a dragonfly, so I'm going to have to do a dragonfly. Let's see how that's going to look. Because I don't want them exactly alike. You know, you want them wonky, because that's just part of their charm. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Ellen. This is, these, I've got to say, these, these make me incredibly happy. These, this has been fun, fun. I love stuff like this. And I'm so glad you like it, too. Do y'all ever, like, see something, you know, well, like, comes across the news feed, like those jeans did, or you're on Pinterest and you see a picture and you think, ooh, can I do that? I love it. That's so cute. And when it all comes about and you do it and make it your own, it's just so exciting. Look at that. Look at those antennas. Hi, babe. Hello. Oh. He found me something yesterday. Where, where, where? The, my brain doesn't work like that. Anyway, uh, he found something on the was it a lake that y'all were on, on the river? On the river. On the river that he brought me home to craft with. I want to run it by y'all. A duck decoy. <laughs> 
this is not my norm this is a challenge but this guy right here said, why couldn't I cut out the middle right here and make a planter out of it? And then on this rust kick I'm on, what if I rusted it? And it could just sit outside with a pretty plant in it. What do you think? They're still sending, I think those hearts are for my butterfly right now though. We'll see if the hearts still get going for the, I think for the, for the duck. Okay, but I, Okay, let me go on and do the B, because those eyes aren't quite dry enough for me to add the little dot that I need to do in the middle. So for the B, we're gonna need four wings. So I'm just gonna try to not take too much of your, more of your time and do, let me, I'm gonna have to figure out the size here. Yeah, okay, this'll be one wing. Oh, you like it, Sue? Okay. And Judy, okay. Well, Ellen, you know, I thought about that too. Why couldn't I? Oh, really, Elizabeth? Well, I know where you can get a duck decoy. <laughs> hey, Margie. Okay, so, um, oh, thank you, Allison. You're so sweet. Um, duck decoy candle holder. The get uh, the this is 16 gauge wire from Lowe's, uh, but I think you can get it at any hardware store. It was some that uh, Mr. Taterbuggin already had, and I kind of confiscated it and took it over. But it, it, he said, yeah, he got it at Lowe's. No telling how long ago, but yeah, you can get it there. Just just wear your gloves when you work with it because it's coated with that stuff so it doesn't rust. Are these about? I want to make two sets of wings, so I thought I'd make them kind of the same size. A flower halo. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Diane, now you just have gone over what I know. I, uh, rebar tie wire. I don't know. This says it is Blue Hawk, 10 pounds of 16 gauge multi-purpose wire. There's the, you know, the label from, and I, I think it is Lowe's because I believe we did look it up. Lori, that's a great idea. That's actually a fantastic idea. It really is. All right, I think I'm going to just cross these just a little bit like that. Maybe one more time. Let's twist them one more time so they'll stay. Okay, so let's take a peek. There's, I know it's hard to see. Let me hold my, so we'll have one, one set maybe up here and then the other set down here. I don't either. I mean, how often do you, I, what, I don't, I don't need a duck. I don't need the duck, but it is so sweet that he, uh, you know, is rolling along and sees that just floating, tangled up in the uh, trees, and he thought about us and how we could do something with it. That makes me happy. Oh, who's, there's somebody else that's new. I missed it. Oh, Sandy. Welcome, I'm so happy you're here. Hi, Susan. Yeah, y'all welcome, Sandy. Um, yeah, if you like what we do here, I hope you'll hang around and come back and give us a follow. That would be wonderful. All right, let's do these back wings. Hey, Cherokee, okay, I'm so happy to see you back. You were here last week and you promised me you'd come back and I'm so happy you did. Y'all are just wonderful. Know that I've ever have I ever fashioned bee wings out of wire before? I'm not sure. It's love, yeah, K. Okay, it is. That's that's so sweet. He's a great guy. Oh, 
Arvonia Edwards. Hello. I don't remember. Do I know your name? I, I think you might be new too. Hi, Tina. Oh my goodness. All The gang's all here. This is just wonderful. So, we got this. Oh, yes. Here we go. This is it. Well, I'm so happy you're here, Arvonia. I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you, Davina. I think these are kind of fun. I'm glad y'all like them, too. <laughs> Drifted duck, right? <laughs> There's Lynn How are you? What's my voice? I'm losing my voice. Hey, Billy. I didn't know you were here. You snuck in on me, too. That's great. Like I said, the gang's all here. Makes me happy. Did you see him skid in behind me? He's playing with his brother. Those two have so much fun together. Oh, hey, Leslie. Oh, thank you, Melanie. You're so sweet to say that. I know, Kathy, wouldn't they? They just are, they're just happy. All right, that one's a little bit bigger. Let me, let me do this one more time. And if, if y'all are new, let me tell you, my husband, Mr. Taterbuggin, we call him, has been doing cooking shows, too. So, he's a... Uh, He's done three so far. You can go back and look at those, too. Cute as a bug can be, yeah. Oh, thank you, Leslie. Thank you. I ordered this from Love and Faith online, and they have some great t-shirts. I think I've gotten two from them so far. Delivered a mini Australian Shepherd Pup to your... Oh, how sweet. Oh, that's so great. Sandy, let me show you. So far, we have this butterfly. Look at those antenna. I'm just letting his little eyes dry so that I can put my little white dots in it. But how cute is the butterfly? Let me turn it the right way. There we go. And then we are working on the wings of our little bee. And I think I can. Let's see. Here's my thought for what it's worth. What I'd like to do is I would like to put the wings like this. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna cover the ends of the wire maybe with a, a lot of Gorilla Glue and a piece of craft stick. What do y'all think about that? That's what, what I was thinking I would do. Uh, Nicole at Afraid Not. Yeah, yeah. You can get it, I think, at any hardware store. Hey, Donna. Better late than never. Staple it. Okay. All right. That's a great idea. Staple it to the back. All right. That would sure be a lot easier, wouldn't it? And it would be an instant hold. But the staplers in the garage. I'll have to, I'll have to uh, holler for Mr. Taylor Buggin to to bring me the stapler. Okay, so okay, let's do that. We've got that in our minds. There's the wings. Let me do his little antenna, and then I'll get the stapler. Yeah, I want to finish it out in the back, uh, and I think that's a good idea, Sarah. Um, just some kind of. Um, felt or fabric. I might even cover it in a coordinating fabric. Um, put a piece of wood to cover the entire back. I could do that. I'm probably going to go with um, with the felt or um, fabric, I believe. Just, just for I'm trying to think of what what would I have that um, 
I could cover it with. I do think I have some little squares. Hey, Marie. Yeah, uh, the felt seems to be would, would be the easiest. Lace would be cute. Sure would. Of course, you could see all the the wire stuff through it, but still, I've got so much fabric. If I can find a what if I used a little piece of my new bee fabric that I got at Hobby Lobby that I'm going to use for the flower? That might be cute. I do too, Lori. I'm that this, all of this, the colors, the distressing, that really just speaks to my soul. I'm loving that little guy. All right, let's just twist his little antennas and get those on, and then we're good to get the staple gun. Go. I'm going to put their little, they've got to have their little reflections in their eyes, though. Let's just put them right there. I, can, I cannot even with these little guys. Look at that. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Y'all, this is good therapy for me. <laughs> I'm hoping by tomorrow night, you know, having another uh, day to work. I've also really got to paint this week, y'all. I've got to paint this week. Uh, but hopefully I'll have some fun stuff to uh, show y'all by tomorrow night. Oh, okay. Hey, Jimmy. Yeah, watch the replay. Is it, Tanya? Oh, me. What if I, okay, what if I glue it down, just like hot glue it down and hold it, and then cut a piece of fabric to put on top of it? You know, really heavily coat it with Mod Podge? What do y'all think about that? Would that work? Mm-mm. Through that silly little bee. Ah, oh, that's so cute. All right. Um, let me get my little fine tip brush. Where did I put my paper towel? Y'all, when you, cr here it is. When you craft a lot, does stuff just go everywhere? I mean, it's ridiculous. I'll, you should have seen it when I finished last night. After just, I went from this, to, I was rusting and I was painting and I was sewing and it was crazy. So I had everything out, just everything. And uh, then had to clear a spot for today. Can y'all see that? Mm -mm -mm. Now let me do the white dots on my butterfly. My butterflies. Yeah, that's Jenga blocks, Renee, uh, for the body. It's four stacked this way and then four on the back. You made a B today and used wire for, wait, let me see. And hot glue worked great. Good. Was it this heavy, heavy gauge wire? I'm hoping, you know, what with the, the glue and the... Oh, see, I love that. With the glue and uh, fabric sealed to the back, I'm hoping that'll... That will do the trick. And that is our butterfly. That little face. Oh, she makes me happy. Do y'all like her? Okay. So, let's just go for it. Let's just lace on the wings. Oh, I don't have any lace. Do you believe that? I really don't. Do I? I think I do. Not a, hmm. 
I was in my, that's my process, y'all. <laughs> Gerald knows how I do. If he asks me where something is, my whole process, or if I'm trying to remember where I put something, I have to sit there and I go to the places in my mind where they would be. <laughs> I'm weird. I'm weird. And so, unless... Mm, I'll do it later. I think I might have seen some in my uh, some old lace in my um, sewing kit I had out the other day when I was doing my jeans. Okay, let me just glop some glue right on here, and then I'm going to put a little bit more on top of it. And let's just let's just hold that for a second. Hey, Diane. Muslin or drop cloth would be so cute. I have muslin. I'm going to be making, I promise you, I'm going to be making another, well, there will be more of these. So, on the next one, that's what I'll do. I will, um, I will use, I will put some muslin in the middle of the wings. I think that's an adorable idea. And if I find some lace, I'll try that too. I think that's a great idea. Okay, there's one. And two. Gonna hold this just like that. That's what I was going to do, Jimmy. That's exactly what I was going to do, but everybody suggested um, to cover in felt. Um, you're so sweet, Tanya. I'll see if I've got some or not. Uh, in my head, seems like I, I saw some in my um, sewing basket that I had out the other day. So, I'm gonna when I get off here, I'm going to look and... Uh, Okay, you know, y'all are saying that. How how do I attach it to the, the wire? Do you just put it around the wire or just in the middle of the wire? I need to know. Bunch of old lace dresser scarves. Oh. Yeah, aren't you glad, Cynthia? Um, I have I have my Gorilla Glue out, but I wanted an instant hold so that I could show y'all when I get it finished. Now would the bee's wings go, I think it goes more like, let me look at it. I think a bee's wings kind of go like that. Am I right? Kind of like that for the bee. Thank you, Mary, for tossing those taters. Glue around edges and lay on lace and cut out. Of course, that's it, okay. Yeah, that's what I'll do, Sarah. On the next B, I will definitely um, put that in the wings. Put some muslin or lace in the wings. I will show y'all a picture. I will share that. You know I always do. And um, that's how I'll do it. I'll do it before I glue them down. This is the first time I've ever made these because I just saw the picture of them and had a fit and thought, All right, we've got to do that today. I have to do that with my friends. Wide lace ribbon. Uh, yeah. Um, I have, I have that, um, wider Dollar Tree ribbon that's like burlap and lace. Glue the lace to the wire. So cute. I have to make one or ten. Great. That's what I want to hear. Uh, is this any, you know, I, I mean, would the butterfly make a good kit? I really think y'all have all the stuff for it already, don't you? I mean, I think it's, you know, it's five gallon star sticks and a two by four cut down. And the last wing will go right here. I keep touching it with these gloves. All right. Oh, 
Oh, okay, Lori. No, you're not fired. I love you too much. Burlap and lace, Tina, you think? I could try that because I do have that. You have a great evening, Lori. Wait, 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 wait. I missed one up here. Screen wire and the wings would be cute too. Oh, yes. Thanks, Diane. I'm glad you like them. Mm-hmm. A one by two would probably be even more perfect. Uh, Carol, go to, um, on the Tater Buggin page, where you, I guess where you are now, go to videos, and you'll just scroll through. He did one last Thursday night, and the Friday night before that, and then I think it was on a Saturday before that, because it was in the Simple Treasures uh, Crafter Circle, but it is on the Tater Buggin page. You can always go back and watch any of our videos on there. Look at the bee! Oh my goodness. I stink and love it. I need some kind of little stinger, don't I? Yeah, I think, I think the screen wire is a great idea too. Um, but the lace does look more like a real wing. So I think, I think it's just whatever you want to do. These are whimsical anyway. And oh my word, I'm in love with these fun little things. Now you know I'm going to have to make a dragonfly. I have to. And I got to figure out a ladybug. Hmm. Got to figure out a ladybug, right? Thanks for the heart, y'all. This is so much fun. I really had a great time today with these little guys. So, <clears throat> I can't wait to see yours. I'm really excited to see what y'all make cuz you'll, you know, you'll take them up a notch or two for sure. Do you, Jody? <laughs> Missing little legs. Okay, how would we uh, use the skewer end? A wood egg and one of those balls for the ladybug. Stephanie, that's a great idea. I'm glad you love them, Lori. Oh, thanks, Cherokee. <laughs> this has been way fun. It, I, I went so far over my time, but it was so great getting to spend time with y'all and thank you for the hearts and the stars and and all that and and you know like i said if you know anybody who might enjoy what we do here i'd love for you to invite them over if you're not already in tater bug and sweet tater bugs um, consider joining that's our just our little community group where you can post pictures of the things that you make or prayer requests or chit chat whatever you just need to be answer the two questions that it asks at the beginning so my moderators can let you in you do have to be you know you do have to follow the tater bugging page um we've got our online shop taterbugging.myshopify.com where you can find all kinds of stuff and the art classes which we're doing this month we're doing these little birds on a wire we had a great time y'all it was a fun fun class I think I had fun and you get to watch it anytime you can sign up anytime if you want to do that so that's it I'm glad you had fun Janet okay oh Lori thanks for being here you're so sweet uh, thanks Sarah uh, oh, oh good Janet thank you for that that means a lot to us it really does um, we're so close to 7,000 followers and my my goal is 10,000 for what reason I don't know it doesn't matter it doesn't matter. I'm the greatest people. Y'all make me happy. Uh, yeah, he's got the, he's out there, got the grill fired up now, and it's going to start smelling good. I'm so glad, Libby. I hope y'all enjoyed it half as much as I did because I love my time with y'all. So thank you for being here. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I will see you Tuesday at 4. Bye.